At first glance, this looks like a neighborhood party, but these neighbors call it a show of support for Basam Yatuma, who was arrested for allegedly assaulting this woman at his family's liquor store in Detroit. This whole incident, a knee-jerk reaction. Everybody's human. This is the aftermath of that beatdown made public by cell phone video, which shows Andrea Warren on the store floor bleeding. Yatuma says Warren had been outside asking customers for money and refused to leave when he asked her to. Then she allegedly spit in his face. Police say Yatuma can be seen on the store video assaulting the woman, which led to his arrest and cries of racism. He's never been a racist guy or never had anything towards black people. He always been a stand up guy to the community. Yatuma, who says his wife is the store's owner, says the past few days have been stressful. As bad as all this is and how much heartache it's caused me and my family and my kids and the amount of stress. The love that I've gotten and the stories that I've heard from people has really touched my heart. And now his family and supporters want to set the record straight about this incident. What it have you? Have happened. It happened. Hold on. It shouldn't have happened because when you spit on somebody, legally that is an assault and you defend your property and that's what we are doing and that's why the neighborhood is here to show their support. But those who advocate for the woman seen in this video are not swayed by this support rally. Satan has support. Believe it or not. But if he didn't want her in the store, how did she get in the store? You not letting her in, you right. pulled her in. Since no charges have been issued in this case, the prosecutor's office is not confirming Yatuma is a suspect, but they do confirm having a warrant request regarding an assault of a woman at a convenience store, which is currently being reviewed. My mind is not on the prosecution. My mind is on my neighborhood, the people, the people that are upset, and the people who are uh, supporting me. In Detroit, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.